wrap up Friday as attacks on indigenous people have escalated under the current Brazilian government. There have been a record number of indigenous candidates taking place in the upcoming October's Brazil election. I study 181 candidates who identify themselves as indigenous are right now trying to run for office. Brazil's native population is suffering a historic assault on their station rights. This challenge cannot be underestimated as the state of Amazon in 2018 was for Bolsonaro and elected eight men to Congress, four of whom are member of the anti-indigenous movement lobby. New upcoming British Prime Minister, we have a turbulent time at her or his first day in office at 10 Downing Street. Boris Johnson will leave behind a stagnant economy, high inflation, sorry, at 10%, food poverty, cost of living, energy crisis. People can no longer make ends meet, even though the majority of them are working full time. The National Institute of Economic and Social Research think tank has predicted that one in five British homes will have no savings left by 2024. British households are now 20% worse off than people living in Germany and France. Germany is losing its ground in the field of technology. The German government needs to make more of an effort towards supporting the digital transformation. They could, for example, give subsidies to companies that support and promote innovation in this area, either by giving investment or by providing expertise. The SPD Greens, the FDP, announced 18 digitalization initiatives. One of them is to support software development, as well as microchips production. The Unpo Coalition wants to speed up the development of fast fiber optic internet services. There are also plans to digitalize health records, improve general online governmental services such as ID and applying for vehicles registration online. Let's not forget that in 2014, there was also a digital agenda attempt in order to digitalize the German economy, but just as expected, it failed, in which digitalization plan never took place. Argentina Vice President Cristina Fernandez had a gun put on her face. The assassination attempt happened in front of her house in Buenos Aires. According to Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva, Cristina is a victim of criminal fascist factions who have been demanding her not to run for the next month's Argentina presidential election. The biggest offshore wind energy farm is right now fully operational. Born C2 operates with 165 turbines located 89 kilometers off the coast of Yorkshire. The wind sector is looking strong in the UK, where the green energy wind sector is set to expand in the next upcoming years. Follow this channel for more economical and political interesting facts.